Association in Panama. And this award is Greg Nostein is a major force in the Native community. He's an Inupiaq. It's an Inupiaq custom to name the next generation after those who have gone on into the next life. It's no wonder then that Greg Nostein's grandfather was a leader, a whaling captain from Wales. Greg's Inupiaq name is Tungwinook after his late grandfather, Louis Tungwinook. Louis Tungwinnock's grave was lost for 35 years. Greg found his grave in October 1990. Prior to that, Greg had a different search. What the Native Youth Olympics did for me, uh, wow, gave me a sense of identity, something I could feel proud about. I was not athletically inclined in any kind of an event like basketball or volleyball, but I don't know, something about the Native Youth Olympics. They. Um, it's like they gave me the springboard to my identity, and ever since then, things have just snowballed. Snowballed indeed, more like an avalanche. For the past six months, Greg has been a guest columnist for the Anchorage Daily News, as well as over the past years participating in the Native Youth Olympics, the World Eskimo Indian Olympics, Arctic Winter Games, Arctic Sports, as well as Spirit Days with traditional Alaska Native sports. If you have an opportunity to participate in the Native Youth Olympics, the World Eskimo Indian Olympics, Arctic Winter Games, go for it. Um, they're not silly games. They really are not. They test your strength. They test your concentration, your endurance, your spirit. And who knows, you may find yourself the state champion someday. You can meet Greg Nostein at Spirit Days this weekend. He'll be officiating at the traditional Alaska Native Sports Competition. For Northern Lives, I'm Jeannie Green. See you next Tuesday.